I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may take us back to the jail so that you don't get into trouble. The jailer offered them a meal and he took them back to the jail. Sir, the magistrate has ordered for the release of the man. The magistrate has ordered for your release. You can go now. No, sir, we were beaten in front of the public although we are Roman citizen. You threw us into the prison and you want to get rid of us quietly. Tell them to come and escort us out of the prison. Let me go and report this to the magistrate. When the magistrate heard that Paul and Silas were Romans, he got scared. He sent the officers to beg pardon from Paul and Silas and escorted them out of the prison. Paul then preached in Thessalonica to Berea and then he reached Athens. Paul could see that the people of Athens were idol worshippers. One day he was debating in the synagogue. Jesus, I'm proclaiming you the Messiah. Hey, what is this man blabbering? I think he is speaking about a foreign god. People of Athens, I know that you are very religious. The Lord who made the world and the things in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. Many people of Athens were attracted to the preaching of Paul. They showed great interest to know about Jesus. Then Paul went to Corinth and stayed for a year and a half teaching the word of God. Demetrius was a silversmith who was making silver shrines for the goddess Artemis. This goddess was widely worshipped in Ephesus. Psst. Do you know that our business is in great danger? Why? What happened, Demetrius? A fellow named Paul is convincing a lot of people that gods made by human hand is not God at all. Oh, that is not good for our trade. That means we all will be jobless very soon. True. In addition to that, our goddess who is worshipped widely will be robbed of her divine majesty. No, we cannot let that happen. Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! Soon the whole city started shouting for goddess Artemis and they caught hold of two companions of Paul and took them to the town hall. Paul wanted to join them, but his friends dissuaded him. 